and welcome to the House of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we are going to be talking about nine things that are making your house look old. Not like the cool old like rustic cottage. You know, it's funny because on some projects we're working on right now, we are actually working hard to make them look old. Putting in reclaimed flooring, matching old brick, and then <laughs> other projects we're working on right now, it just looks really tired, things that just make the house just feel maybe a little bit creepy, not very warm and inviting. Those are the kinds of things we're going to be talking about today and we want to get them out of your house and we're going to give you easy fixes. So we're not going to leave you hanging. We're going to help you make sure that it's something that you can fix in your home. So I hope that sounds like fun to you. I hope that you will want to hit subscribe and hang out so you can see the homes that we've been working on. We've got a ton of makeovers coming very soon to the channel and you guys are going to absolutely love them and you're going to see what we're talking about in today's video. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out and uh, cheers you guys. Let's jump in. I am one who absolutely loves older homes. I think that older homes are beautiful. I would say that even my own home having been built in 94 is actually a little bit more of a newish home. I generally like old homes. We lived in Europe, we lived in Africa, and I loved to have older homes that have all that beautiful character. There's something, there's something about an older home that is just beautiful. And then there's this sort of thing that happens with older homes and they just get kind of creepy. There's things that just make the house just feel dingy and they make it feel just old and like kind of a rotten kind of way. It's not nice. It's not nice. And a lot of times these things are really easy to fix. And so that's what we're going to be talking about today. So if you love older homes, so do we, because um, when we did the first one of these, if you haven't watched it, you'll, I'll make sure to leave a link for it down below because I think you will love it. But when we did that one, a lot of people were like, but I love old homes. And I'm like, I know we do too. <laughs> But then it's like sometimes it's just sort of like decaying and that's not a nice kind of old. Okay, so these are the things that make your house feel kind of old and creepy, not old and charming. <laughs> okay, so let's jump into the list. So number one, those metal mini blinds. They're just awful. They are just awful. I, I really just don't like them and I, I hate the way that they immediately downgrade every room that they're in. I've stayed, my husband and I have moved, was it 24 times? <laughs> we have a whole video with backstory. We lived abroad, we've moved a whole bunch of times, we've lived in a lot of different places, and when I would go into a place and it had those metal mini blinds, and mini blinds in general, I was just like, oh, oh. you know, it just makes it feel so dingy. And the reason why is because they take so much of the natural light out of your room, and they just feel like they're trying to keep things out and not just the sun. I don't know. They don't feel pleasant. They don't feel upgraded. And the easy fix is just take them down. <laughs> in so many of our homes, we do not need blinds on the windows anyways. So an immediate upgrade in your home is just to simply take the blinds down. I don't put blinds up just in general. Blinds kind of give your home a dated look anyways in many cases. Sometimes they still work, but generally I just don't like them because they just take too much of that natural light out and that is what makes your room feel more expensive, more elevated, more light and airy and natural. But sometimes you do need something on the windows and I do understand that. So you have a couple options. You could just put up some really great curtains. You can do ones with a blackout lining on them. If you need more privacy, you can do a Roman shade. Those look really nice. There's places like Amazon that you can shop for these items. You can shop at places like Pottery Barn, West Elm. They all have really great options. You guys know I have a lot of curtains from Ikea that I really love. So it's not that you have to spend a lot of money, but the mini blinds just make your house feel old and creepy. And I think that they just need to go. And after that, <laughs> I need to take a sip of my coffee. <laughs> Speaking of my coffee, can I just take a second and share our video sponsor for today because our video sponsor for today is Beekeepers Naturals. So I've started to make my coffee like this in the afternoons. You can make it in the morning as well, but it's incredible because it is using Beekeepers Naturals. It's using, we are using their their uh, bee powered superfood honey. This stuff is incredible. It's got the bee propolis, the royal jelly, and the bee pollen in it, and it is a dietary supplement. 
I didn't even know this before. It was something that I learned, the bee propolis, it keeps all the germs out, it keeps the hive healthy, and amazingly, that can actually transfer over to humans as well. And so they've added it to the honey. So this is absolutely incredible. You literally just take a little teaspoon of it. I've started to uh, make oat milk with honey uh, lattes. You just add a little teaspoon of this into the espresso as you're making your espresso, then you add your milk, and then uh, personally I think it's amazing if you add a little sprinkle of cinnamon over the top. But this stuff is absolutely amazing. It's something you can just easily add into your daily routine. They also have this, which is their throat spray, and it's really nice because sometimes I don't have it as much because I don't stay on Zoom or on conference calls as much as my husband, but we both have one of these sitting by our desk now because all you have to do is just take it and spritz right into your throat. And this is also using the bee propolis. The propolis throat spray is amazing because the propolis helps support the human immune system with antioxidants, vitamin C, zinc, iron, B vitamins, and many more beneficial compounds, over 300. It's made with clean ingredients and is third party tested to ensure it's pesticide free, which is better for us and the bees. It's certified keto, certified paleo, gluten-free, and natural. And it really replaces a lot of those kind of like synthetic, kind of like those little, basically they're just sugary candy kind of things that are supposed to help your throat and never do. Yeah. Beekeepers Naturals has very kindly sent us a discount code so you guys can test it out as well. So click my link below and use my code HOUSE20 for 20% off site-wide. I will leave a link down below in the show notes for you as well. So definitely check down below and uh, cheers you guys. And now let's get back to chatting about things that are making your house look old. Gosh, it's funny. that that That'll help you stay young too. See, there you go. Got all kinds of tips and tricks for you today. So one of the things that I've noticed in the project that we've been working on this last week is that there was brass everywhere and brass has been in. I have brass in my own home. I love brass, but there's this shiny sort of 90s, 80s version of brass that really just makes a house look so old. And as soon as we started taking that down and out of the house, it was like, I cannot get over how big of a difference this makes. And you guys can actually remember, we've been working on Dr. Ferris's home this last week and, and we did his kitchen, did the same thing in his house. We just, he called it a brass delete. And I was like, that is well said. I love that. Let's do a brass delete throughout the entire house. So brass in so many different forms. I mean, his house has it literally everywhere. And when we were closing on the house, uh, the seller was like, I love brass and I've had to look hard to find it. I'm like, so sometimes you look hard because something has sold out and sometimes you're having to look hard because somebody, nobody wants it anymore. That's when you know you should stop. <laughs> Nobody wants that color brass anymore. And she had worked hard to put brass in. It's what she liked. If it's what you like, why would you change it? Because of some video on YouTube, I don't know. But for me, I do not like it. My uh, client did not like it either. And so we've done a brass delete and it is life altering. The other day, my parents were looking on Zillow and apparently the home that I lived in when I was a baby, where I was born and lived until I was two in Texas, apparently went on the market. So my parents were sending us pictures of the house that had been updated. And I was looking at the house and I was thinking, man, do you know what makes it? everything look so old? Not just the fact that I was really cute when I was little and now I'm, you know, this, but <laughs> it's the wood paneling. The wood paneling just makes everything just feel old, not, not the wood paneling like in gorgeous libraries when it was like real wood. Oh yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. That kind of paneling, never going anywhere. But the wood paneling that we had in ours, yeah. So cringy, so old looking, really makes the home look old. And it really just shows that taking down that wood paneling and painting those walls out, what a refresh. What a refresh, totally makes like light years of difference. And I've seen a lot of times where people don't wanna take it down. If you don't want to take it down, you don't wanna spend the money on it, even just painting it will instantaneously make the house look a lot younger. I will say though, I'm gonna make fun of myself a little bit more, okay? So 
and I've got wrinkles and I'm putting creams and stuff on them and uh, I, I create more creases you know and I always kind of point it out a little bit more yeah so there's there's things that we do in makeup so that you know the wrinkles look less obvious when you put makeup on them <laughs> Um, yeah, so when you paint the paneling, a lot of times it almost like accentuates it. Yeah, I don't, it, it almost doesn't take it far enough. Personally, I think it's better if you can just eradicate that altogether. I wish I could just delete, <laughs> just delete <laughs> the wrinkles altogether, but you know, that's where my age and, and uh, <laughs> that's where aging with beauty comes in. But I think that when it comes to wood paneling, I would just take it down and you know sheetrock the wall again if you have to a lot of times people find things lurking behind it and it's just a good idea to get it out of your home next one is popcorn ceiling i would say any kind of these textured ceilings honestly popcorn ceiling the little stars any of those textured ceilings uh just they need to go they make your house look so old and i will have to say that this is probably the most expensive out of this one to fix or the most laborious <laughs> to fix and it's one that i pay somebody to do I, it's too involved for me personally it's a bigger diy i'm not a big diyer as it is i can paint and i can do some things but this is over my it's over my skill set so i usually pay somebody to come and do this on my my projects with my clients i tell them you know if you're a big diyer you might be able to do this yourself but most of us there's a skill that has to happen in wetting that ceiling properly, scraping it down, and then, you know, getting it nice and skimmed out clean and all that. But it is so worth it. We did this on my mother-in-law's and she was saying, oh, you know, we just thought it was such a, it was such a nice accent when everybody was putting that in. And I'm like, yeah, that's one of those trends that just didn't stick around. That, that pains me. But I think that taking it down made a huge difference in her home. And I've seen it happen over and over in other people's homes. It makes the room feel so much taller. It makes it feel brighter and lighter. It feels more elevated and sophisticated. And it just doesn't feel so old. Vinyl flooring. Vinyl flooring. So vinyl flooring is one of those things that I personally just feel just, it dates the house. It also just makes it feel kind of old. It makes it a lot of times feel really creepy. A lot of times it's got tears in it. It's not holding up very well. I had a little bit of vinyl flooring in my laundry room here and oh, the difference of just putting some tile down. I absolutely loved taking that old vinyl flooring out. All right, so my camera battery died, apparently because it's super hot in here and the camera battery was like, it's hot and I'm not doing this. So <laughs> back to the vinyl flooring. Uh, so the easy solution is to just simply take out your vinyl flooring. And I just think that you can replace it with a tile. You can take replace it with it. Even an engineered hardwood is better than a vinyl flooring. It just holds up better. It looks better. It definitely makes the house feel a lot younger. Get the vinyl flooring out. And I personally, that luxury vinyl tile is like so in right now. And everybody wants to put it into their home. And everyone wants to know if that if that's what they should put into their basements. And I'm like, my contractor was just like, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. I was like, oh, okay, I don't know. So a lot of the contractors, you know, it's easy to install, but generally I've just been putting in either a, a hardwood floor, an engineered flooring, or a tile if I'm gonna take vinyl up, or if I'm just putting something back in. <laughs> Definitely don't put new vinyl flooring back into your house. Like, yeah, just avoid it. It just makes the house feel kind of old and dingy, and it does just, it feels a little bit cheap, and it's not necessarily really that much cheaper. So I would just upgrade that just a little bit myself. Whew. Okay, so it's heating up in my room. I'm gonna have to like go change into a bathing suit in a second. <laughs> like, I literally just pulled the drapes. So it's kind of ironic because I'm pulling the drapes to get the sun out of the room. And then I'm gonna tell you to take your heavy drapes down. <laughs> The irony of that is not lost on me. I think it's okay to have curtains in your home. It's okay to have drapes in your home. I'm gonna move this candle. I'm like, I've, I've repositioned myself and I don't want my, my hair to catch on fire. <laughs> um, so heavy drapes just make your house look old. They're just very, they're heavy. They, they feel really dark. They make the house feel dark. It just makes your house just feel kind of dingy. A little bit creepy like an old castle and like a you know one of those murder mysteries where the drapes are heavy and pulled it's kind of the same situation as the mini blinds 
it just doesn't upgrade your home and there are options out there that can help so i think that if you've got the big swags you've got the big heavy drapes i just think just take them down and that is for free and if you need something to go back up uh right now the ones that i have here i have these beautiful velvet ones look at these beautiful velvet ones i just got these off of amazon and they keep the sun out they make it private in here and I love some of the lighter ones that I have in the sunroom and they give me more of a light and airy feeling where I don't necessarily, I don't need privacy back there because there's no one that can really see in the window. So it just depends on what is better for you, but it will instantaneously make the room feel better and it, you'll be amazed how big of a difference this will make in your home and how much better it's gonna feel immediately. I'm trying to avoid the sun. Can you see it? It's just literally coming in. I'm like, you know what? This is why we normally film in the family room. <laughs> Today it's just not working for me. And the camera is like, it's too hot in here. So let's just not. You know what? Let's just go in there. How about we do that? Come on. Well, apparently my camera does not like the direct sun that it was getting in my office right now. <laughs> I guess it just really was just like, no, it is too hot. So we have moved places. I needed to hop over to where, I mean, it's literally just a few feet away, but whatever. The camera needed somewhere cooler to be. Hopefully it will still work. But uh, yeah, take another sip of my coffee. And now we'll move on to the next point, which is gonna be ironic because you're gonna see I have old builder grade doors in my own house. I think it makes the house look older. Now I've painted them and I think that makes a big difference. I've changed out the hardware. I think that makes a big difference, but it definitely does date the house. And I think that the ones that I have are, they're not so offensive to me. I really just don't hate them. And so that's why I've kept them. I have started to think about changing the doors out throughout the house. I've started changing out the, the front doors. I started with the iron doors for the office. I've been starting to upgrade things slowly where, I, you know, you don't always have the money the first day you move in to make these big changes. So sometimes just simply painting the door that came with the house is the solution that you start with. And then as time goes by, it's one of those things that you may want to think about. Personally, I'm not sure that I will upgrade these doors because they really kind of match the shell of the house. But those really, really hollow ones that are super, super cheap, those really do make the house look really old. And I think that they just need to go. So I think it depends on the age of your home. I think it depends on the door itself. If they're really hollow and really cheap, the flat panel, hollow ones of like 70s and early 80s are just, I hate them. I generally just hate them. Uh, we're working on another project with my sister. We've been upgrading her cottage and she had these weird like louvered doors and oh, they were just so ugly. So those just really just made the house look really old and changing them out made a huge, huge difference. I'm not sure if I hate mine that much. You guys can let me know in the comments if you think that they're making my house look really old or if you think that you like them too. But you can change them out pretty easily, go for something with a little bit more of a shaker style. Even the flat front that's a little bit more upgraded would be better than those old ones. But there's a lot of inexpensive options out there. Home Depot can hook you up and it will instantaneously make your entire home feel a lot younger. Hi, Louie. Hi, Louie. There's nowhere for you to sit in this chair. Are you gonna try to fit? Oh, hey, come on. You gonna try to fit? <laughs> All right, sit, baby. It's like, Mom, I'm, I wanna hang out, but there's nowhere for your booty. You have to put it down. <laughs> Sweet puppy. Okay. <laughs> All right. The next thing that makes your house look old, Louie, is when you have really old appliances. Whoa, wait, you can't give me kisses. Oh, my goodness. You make it so hard for me to get work done. <laughs> um, yes, so anyways, I think that old appliances, a lot of times I hear people that say, it works better than the new stuff. Oh, the times I've heard that. And you know what, people are right. They're so right, it does make the house. Sometimes those old appliances really do work better than the new ones, they're right. And we've looked at some that are so old, they're almost cool again, you know? And ultimately, old appliances really just make the house look old. It just, it just doesn't work. I think that LG and KitchenAid make some products that are amazing. Uh, Jen Air has been putting out some amazing products lately. There's 
a lot of different options out there and they just make the house look a lot younger. So, oh wait, there we go, okay. Um, so yeah, I think that changing out the appliances, it's worth the money, it makes a really big, a really big impact on the room. No, sir, put your butt on my rug, boy. Um, <laughs> is she back already? <laughs> So anyways, yes, I think it's worth it. I'll leave some links down below for some appliances that I think you should take a peek at because yes, my clients, a lot of times this is something that they're like, oh, but is, is it really worth it? The answer is always yes, it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Yes, you need to do it. You will hate yourself later if you've spent this much money on something and you didn't just make that change. And finally, after all the mishaps of today's video, we've had heat, batteries dying, dogs jumping on us. I mean, what a day. <laughs> Kids coming in and out. I'm telling you, it has just been a day. But the final thing that I think really makes your house look old is dated furniture. And yeah, I, that one's always a little bit harder for me because a lot of times people have pieces that are sentimental and they want to keep them in their homes. And I just, somebody asked me that recently. She said, you know, if I have this piece, is it something that you're going to incorporate or are you gonna tell me to get rid of it? And I'm like, well, the truth of the matter is, is that it just depends. <laughs> it depends on whether the piece fits the new direction of what you really want for your space. And if it's gonna be holding your space back, if it's gonna hold you back from achieving the space that you really want, I'm gonna say, get rid of it. Now, if it's something that is amazing and it fits the aesthetic and the direction that you are going, then yes, of course, design the whole room around it. Put it in the center and make it the, the, the center of everything. Yes, it can be that way. So yeah, sometimes you might have a piece that can work, but a lot of times dated furniture, old furniture, it just, you know, looks like it's time period. If you've got something from the 70s or if you've got something from the 80s, uh, very few pieces of furniture hold up to wear and tear that well. And so it really just depends on the piece itself, but usually you're gonna need to get rid of it. Yeah, I mean, that's what makes it fun. And you may not do it in the first day. You may keep that for a little while and start saving up. We, that's what we've been doing on our own home. You know, it's like little by little, you save up, you get all the projects done, prioritize in the beginning and then as you go you're like okay now it's time to why don't we switch out the hinges well because you know we were putting down the floor so it's just a process for some and then sometimes you get to go in and do everything all at once and that's a lot of fun too so i hope today has been encouraging <laughs> despite all the distractions <laughs> I hope that it has encouraged you just to take a look at your house and don't worry if you can't change everything in the first day, first month, first year. We're about five years, almost six years into this house and we're still changing things and upgrading and doing the things to the house that we wanna do. Sometimes it just takes time and there's nothing wrong with being in it for the process and you wanna make sure you enjoy it along the way. So don't let it sour your home for you. But I think having a plan in place for me at least, that helps me to process through. Like I've got an idea, I'm saving towards it. So I hope today has just been an encouragement to you and you'll love it so much that if you haven't already, you'll wanna hit subscribe and stick around a while longer. I'll leave all the links for the items that you've seen kind of popping up throughout the video. I always leave those links down in the show notes. You won't be able to see them on the TV. If you're looking there, you'll need to look on a computer or a device. That way you can open up the description box. But um, yeah, I always leave those down below, including the uh, honey and the little uh, bee propolis spray, the little throat spray. Oh, you guys are gonna love Beekeepers Naturals. And also, I'm going to leave a link for another video for you to check out in case you haven't seen it yet. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.